Hi everyone, welcome back to your game pharmacology. In this session, let us understand a very important drug that is teriparatide. Myself, Dr. Padmana Bhatti is your pharmacology faculty at Global Academy of Medical Education. So welcome back again. So teriparatide basically belongs to the drug which can regulate the calcium levels. So basically teriparatide is a acid such as paratide, paratide, paratide. So it's nothing but it is related with the parathormone, parathormone. Terry, you can remember it as re, it is a recombinant, it is a recombinant parathyroid hormone, recombinant parathyroid hormone. So basically it is a recombinant, recombinant parathyroid hormone. So when you compare the action of teriparatide with the other groups of drugs which regulates the calcium like estrogen or the bisphosphonates, so this recombinant parathyroid hormone teriparatide has got the faster action, fastest action when compared to the estrogen, sorry, estrogen and the bisphosphonate, estrogen and the bisphosphonate. Para, that is the very rapid, rapid. So rapid action, it has got the rapid action than the estrogen and the bisphosphonates. And it is the only agent that will going to stimulate the bone formation it will going to increase the production of the bone increase the production of the bone so p stands for para production what production will increase production of bone formation or it promotes the production of bone formation is that clear so next is by increasing the bone density it will going to reduce the fractures in the vertebra as well as the non vertebral areas apart from that because of their beneficial effects such as deposition of the bone and also there is a reduction the risk of the uh, uh, vertebral bone fractures it can be used in case of severe osteoporosis severe osteoporosis both in case of males and females especially in the elderly age group elderly age group elderly age group so how it can be administered? It is administered through parenteral route. It is given through subcutaneous route. So most of the recombinant preparation will be given through subcutaneous route once daily and it will act for 2 to 3 hours. And what is the limit for usage of teriparatide? Yes, it has to be given daily injection and it is very high in cost, very high in cost. So one should remember that it should not be recommended for usage beyond two years behind two years and what are the side effects which are associated it can cause leg cramps dizziness and the headache and there are two conditions where teriparatide cannot be used teriparatide since it causes the bony deposition it may increase calcium levels so it cannot be used in conditions where there is a increase in the calcium levels that is in case of pages disease and the hypercalcemia hypercalcemia so pages disease is a osteolytic condition where there will be increased risk of the calcium levels in the body so basically how we can remember the teriparatide so teri teri paratide so as we know re it is a recombinant it is a recombinant Para, that is parathyroid hormone so it has got r here r it has got rapid action when compared to the estrogen as well as the uh, bisphosphonates and also it main action is to para means promote promote what production of bone production of bone and how it is given parental p for parental parental that is through subcutaneous root subcutaneous root so where they are contraindicated basically they are contraindicated in conditions where there is a increase in the calcium levels that is the hypercalcemia hypercalcemia and also in case of Paget's disease so so this was about the class on the teriparatide one should remember it can, they can ask teriparatide belongs to which group of drugs is the recombinant parathyroid hormone so it main action is to simulate the bone formation it is given through subcutaneous route and it should not be used beyond two years where it is contraindicated in pages disease and hypercalcemia
Thank you.